Hey everybody, this is Irlad, and we're back for another episode of Star Maid. Aw, yeah. Uh, so as my station slowly takes shape here, I've been thinking a lot about the problem of docking my big behemoth of a mining ship. And where I want the docking to happen in relation to the rest of the station, and how I want to access the station from the docked ship. And all these questions are, I think, best solved by extending the station out on this side of the power core. Uh, there's a couple of corridors, you can see one of them right now, that cut through the base of the power core chamber. And I think I want to extend those two corridors out, join them together, make a hub, and then uh, somewhere in the hub there will be an elevator shaft, a lift shaft, and that will uh, pass through this the, the level that the power core floor is on. Um, but also extend downward to other levels of the station. And one of those levels is going to be sort of a docking hub, I think. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just sort of roughly outline the, uh, the the hub itself. I'm not proposing to build the hub today, but um, I'll use it as a point of reference to, to get in some docking access, and I will be working on that today. So for today, uh, mostly we're working on the, the docking pylons and the transport from the ship into the station. Alright, so here's the hub very roughly outlined here. And like I say, my my purpose today is not to actually build the hub, just to kind of get an idea of where it is. Uh, but this little stub sticking out, this is the beginning of the first docking pylon. And of course I'm keeping symmetry on, so it's going to keep building over on that side as well. Um, but what I want to do, I want to make an arm that extends a, a reasonable length out from the station. Um, so that I don't have to maneuver that big old thing too close to the actual station in order to dock it. Like, eh, it's probably close enough right here. Alright, so there's the docking pylon itself, but wait, there's more! I'm not finished yet. <laughs> you didn't think it was going to be that simplistic and still be the focus of an episode, did you? Nah, I gotta complicate it. 
Uh, so what I'm going to do, you notice I put down this rail here. Um, I'm going to have sort of this little shuttle type vehicle, like a, think of it as a horizontal lift that can run back and forth between the station and the, uh, the airlock of the docked ship. And so that's going to get a little interesting because I am going to have to figure out how exactly uh, it's going to line up perfectly with the airlock while still allowing the ship to dock properly uh, and not interfere with that at all. So I'm going to have a, a little, little thinking to do here, uh, but let's go ahead and get on that.
Well, um, <laughs> I got my my little shuttle in here, um, so that I can make a copy of it. And apparently, I can't do that because apparently, it won't finish loading the design. It's gonna make me angry. Um, I'm gonna try resetting the game, and uh, I'll see y'all on the other side of that. All right, it looks like we're back in business. So, um, construct current design. Uh, let's see, pylon, shuttle, okay, original ship name already exists, yay, how about that, um, pylon, shuttle, one, okay, stop, yeah, rail docker, oof, um, rail docker, yeah, Okay, I think I can do this one safely. I think it has to be pointing in toward the station before I can safely dock it. Right, is this oriented correctly? Yes! Yes, it appears to be oriented correctly. Um, oh, no. Quickly. Wait, am I in build mode? I am in build mode. Okay, quickly. So I've got to chop out some of this. How far in do I go? Okay, that's fine. See. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cool, okay. Let's see. Now I should be able to do something like this right here. Yep. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, so there's a bit more logic that I actually am going to have to do to finish that up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this... I uh, need to chop that ugly stuff off. I'm gonna, after I do this, I'm going to bring my mining ship down and I'm going to dock it to this one. And then we're going to work on uh, finishing up a few things, including the docking alignment indicator. Uh, which you'll see what that is here in just a second, I hope. Did I never actually put in a docking... Dang it! <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Alright. Let's see how it's gonna be. Um... That's embarrassing. Uh, so I was talking about a, um... A docking indicator. Yeah, that thing. Uh, so what I want to do is... I want to... I don't, I don't actually know how I'm gonna anchor this to the station just yet or if I'm going to anchor it to the station. Um, but what I want to do is I want to come up here and I want to grab... myself a nice little column right there. How'd I do? That's actually right where I needed it. And then pull it out right there. Alright, so here's the docking alignment indicator. Um, <laughs> it's not what I was hoping for, uh, I will say that. Um, go ahead and jump into my ship. We'll undock. And like, hey, right now it's perfectly green, right? You get up here and it's like, nope, you gotta go some other way. I come down here and uh-huh, uh-huh, so this is pretty good. 
So at that point, it's pretty easy to line up the rail docker and let it do its thing. Um, you know, that was the that was the goal, of course, because maneuvering these big ships where the camera and the the docking beam aren't perfectly lined up can be kind of a pain. But uh, yeah, it works. It, it, it works. And I know that that means that this docking boom is only ever good for this ship, and I'll have to move that whole indicator. Uh, there it is. I'll have to move it when I switch to a different ship for this docking boom, but that's okay. I will, I will be alright with that. Yep. But anyway, there's the, there's the idea behind the docking pylons, and, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I, I like the idea of having this little shuttle that goes back and forth. But like I said, I'm going to have to put some thought into how to actually integrate that. I might just leave it, honestly. Like, I might slap some of these um, repul repulse modules, or whatever they're called, um, into like key, key places and just pretend it's a drone, right? Uh, we'll see. In any case, I think that'll do it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and uh, I'd like to see you back for the next one. So, possibly, if you don't mind, you might think about clicking that there subscribe button. Possibly leaving a like or a comment if you really did enjoy this. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll take care. Bye-bye.